hello friends welcome to another master class of the series so today we'll be discussing about the part a syllabus which is how to fly an aircraft you need to have the basic knowledge about it so to start with this first we need to understand about the flight so there are basically four forces that are acting on a flight when it is in the air so what are these four forces the four forces are first is the lift second is the drag third is the thrust and fourth is the gravity so in this video we'll be discussing about the force which is the lift lift of lift on the aircraft acts in the upward direction so how this lift acts and how it is generated we will see you know from the diagram it is clear that the lift is a force that act that directly opposes the weight of the airplane that is it is against the gravity it acts upwards so because of this lift only the aircraft is holded in the air these are the key points to remember next since the lift is acting upwards on the aircraft so lift can be acted upon any part of the aircraft but then lift is predominantly it is being generated mostly by the wings of the aircraft this is the key term the lift is most is most of the lift is generated by the wings now how this lift is generated to understand how the lift is generating then we we should know the newton's second law of motion you know the newton's second law of motion says a force is produced when a body with a mass m is accelerating with acceleration a that is f equal to ma force equal to mass into acceleration we know from from our physics class that acceleration is a change in the velocity with a change in time that is acceleration is equal to dv by dt so and then dv by dt is v1 minus v0 by t1 minus t0 assuming v0 was the initial velocity at the time 0 and v1 was is the velocity at the time t1 so this difference in change in velocity with respect to time is the acceleration so we can represent the force as f equal to m into dv by dt this is a very important equation from this equation we can understand that any change in the velocity produces the force since mass is fixed and is a scalar quantity so dv by dt this change in the velocity produces a force similarly a change in the force causes a change in the velocity that is what is the force causes a change in the velocity and also a change in the velocity generates a force so this is important so coming to the vector quantity a vector quantity basically has two characters that is it has both a magnitude and a direction this we know from our physics class so velocity is a vector now a change in the velocity is causing a force since vector is a since velocity is a vector so force is also a vector so since lift is also a force so lift is a vector so this is also important now this lift is generated basically because of the change in the flow flow of a fluid so here the fluid is the air so when the aircraft is flying in the air, in the air so the fluid is the air and when there is a change in the flow of this air then it generates a lift since the aircraft is flying and the air is there so the entire aircraft will be acted upon by this air so how we are able to generate a flow out of this air is with the help of the wings you know wings are inclined in a way such that this air is this air the flow of the air we are able to turn the flow of the air because of this turning of the flow of the air what is happens is a velocity of the flow of the air is changed in magnitude and directions and sometime it is in both so changing turning the flow of the air with the help of the aircraft wings we are able to generate the lift we'll see how the wings of the aircraft is generating the lift you know as i said earlier aircraft wings are shaped to make so how this when we are when we are inclined the aircraft wings what happens is the 
this shape causes the air move faster over the top of the wings so the air that is coming and hitting the wings so what will happen is the aircraft on the wings on the top of the wings will be moving faster at a faster rate compared to the air which is at the lower so because of the change in velocity a pressure is created so on the top of the wing on the aircraft wings on the top side what happens is a low pressure is created because the air is moving faster so air is moving faster so pressure is lower on the top of the wing similarly aircraft speed is low and the pressure is high in the bottom of the wing we can see from this diagram so this is the wing so there is a difference in the pressure between the below the and above the wing so this difference in the pressure creates a force we know that a pressure is equal to force per area so this pressure causes a force which is a lift in this case so this lift will actually lift the aircraft so this is so this is how the lift is being generated and the aircraft is able to fly in the air if you have any question please comment in the video hit the like button if you have liked the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you for watching